Well, thank you. Today, in the world that we live in, a billion people suffer from neurological diseases and disorders. Here in the United States, the NIH estimates that close to 100 million Americans are similarly afflicted. The Fatah Neuroscience Initiative is designed to deal with this global challenge. We've had some major successes to date. In 2012, through my efforts, the Congress created the Interagency Working Group on Neuroscience, housed at the White House. A year later, we directed the White House Office of Science Technology Policy to collaborate with pharmaceutical, the pharmaceutical industry on increasing private sector investment in brain research. And just weeks ago, the President signed the 2014 spending bill which promoted the internationalization of our brain research efforts. But we are just at the beginning of our efforts, and tonight I'd like to make a little bit of news. Upon the request of the European Union's Human Brain Project and its leadership, together with their counterparts here at the United States Brain Initiative, I've been asked and I've agreed to develop a memorandum of understanding that will create the most significant scientific collaboration ever on brain research. I can't think of a more important scientific relationship in history. The collaboration will not only bring together the EU and the United States, but it will create portals allowing for other brain mapping and brain research efforts worldwide to join in this shared vision. This global cha challenge requires global leadership, and our agreement will help define the future of neuroscience research. I'm certain because of this effort, we will see real, tangible results, and I'll be here working for that over the next 10 years. I must thank Rafi Gitaran of the Israeli Brain Technology, whose leadership on neuroscience, especially his work in bringing together the EU and the U.S. on this effort has been so instrumental. To Research America, thank you for this humbling honor. Your organization is unparalleled when it comes to pushing for a stronger national medical research agenda. When researchers uncover the next breakthrough cure or treatment, it will be in no small part because of your tireless advocacy and support. I also want to thank my colleagues in the Congress who have supported my initiative since day one. It's truly been a bipartisan enterprise, and we have had a success as a result. I want to thank Senator Mikulski, my Democratic counterpart in CJS in the, in the Senate, and Hal Rogers, the Majority Chairman, and Nita Lowy. But most importantly, I want to thank Frank Wolf, who supported this from day one. Next week, I'll receive a an award with the Prime Minister of Australia on sharing an award on brain research. But I am much more proud to share tonight's award, the Whitehead Award, with Frank Wolf. Finally, I'd like to thank my Chief of Staff, Maisha Leek, and my staff who've worked so hard on this because they do the work and I get the credit. This is an exciting time for neuroscience, and our efforts just got much stronger. Thank you again for this honor, and thank you to each of you for your commitment to making research a priority here in America to improve the life chances of tens of millions of our fellow citizens. Thank you.